Okay, let's do it. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very, very exciting video that we have been waiting to film for so, so long. This is my nursery tour. You can come in and see my, my baby boy's nursery. Go ahead. Cool. <laughs> so you can come on in. This is our baby's nursery and it's so exciting we've been working so so hard on this gorgeous space this is definitely the nicest room in the house so what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk you through uh, the items that we've got i'm going to leave some links in the description below so you can purchase any of the items that are still available online so we'll start off with this gorgeous rug that we're standing on so this rug is from next um, it's probably unlikely to be available now because it was quite expensive and i waited a very very long time to get this in the next sale i never buy anything full price in next so this is 100 percent wool from new zealand sheep <laughs> And then on the floor here, we have this little mat. This is called the Bella Bunny mat. Uh, this is from the White Company and it is so super duper soft. Really soft, isn't it? <laughs> it's lovely. So when I'm sort of just walking about the nursery and stuff, we can lie our little baby Leo down here and he can just chill. We're gonna build a little baby gym to go over the top too. Uh, but we haven't quite finished that yet. I think you forgot that. I think you that's said. my job, isn't it? <laughs> Um, so we've got a collection of toys on here, which I've been collecting secretly. I had like bags of stuff hidden mm. from Tom and stuff. But we've got loads of these penguins here, and these are all from the White Company as well. Surprise, surprise. And then we've got this giraffe, Georgina. She's also from the White Company, and she's got a squeaker. She does. And then we've got our swan and signet baby. So this is me and this is my baby. <laughs> and then we've got a Sophie the Giraffe Teva up here as well, <laughs> which <laughs> I think the baby's gonna love. We've got this gorgeous penguin picture here. Now I got this uh, for my baby shower and my friend actually drew this for me. So you won't be able to get this because this is one of a kind, which it's is- lovely, isn't it? Yeah, really exciting, I love it. So if you come over here, you can see this beautiful mural on the wall and it says, hello little one. This itself is from the White Company. So it comes together, it comes in a little kit. There's quite a bit of untangling that you have to do, but it yeah. is, <laughs> it's like but it is gorgeous. And these um, cushions, that we have on the wall, these are also from the White Company. They're not meant for the wall, they're actually just cushions. But Thomas basically put some hooks in and attached them, didn't you? Yeah, that's really really good. Cool. And then we've got this mobile here with some clouds as well. You can see an emerging cloud theme. This is also from the White Company. <laughs> and I'll leave a link in the description below. I think we've still got this available, but what we did is we decided to use um, some fish, fishing wire so that you couldn't see the- The string? The string, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, this is our baby's little cot, cot bed. It's actually a cot bed. So this will last um, him until he's a bit older. So these eventually come off and then he can use it as just a normal little bed. Um, the cloud sheets and the bumper, these are also from the White Company. And also this lovely blanket that we've got in here, this is from the White Company as well. Um, and this is a cot play toy. Where's that from? The White Company. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm starting to notice a bit of a theme here. <laughs> Yeah, this is also from the White Company. So this has got Indy the um, elephant on it. And then over here, we've got you in the dream sheep. <laughs> Which is supposed to soothe the baby when it's time to go to sleep. Can you we can hear him, yeah, wait a second, let's go back. 
So imagine your little baby looking up. If you look up, we've also got some cloud bunting that we've put up as well, which really looks gorgeous. Where do you think the cloud bunting is from, Tom? Well, I'm just going to throw a guess out there. Uh, next. No. It's in the white company. Oh, really? Oh, okay, I didn't <laughs> guess that. Yeah, fine. However, the end clouds um, on the end of each part, and then in the middle and over at the far end over there, I made those myself. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, and they kind of like cover the... And you made the little penguin. So this is my nursing chair. So this isn't actually a nursing chair. This is just an armchair that we got from um, Oak Furniture Land. And we got it half price in the sale, which I was really excited about. And I just thought it just fitted in color wise with the nursery. It's super, super comfy to sit in. And sit with my baby. Mm -hmm. Put your feet up. And I can put my feet up on this little knitted poof that I got from the range. So, wanted it to be a little bit functional as well. So I've had Tom put up this little shelf next to my nursing area. <laughs> You're looking at the little, yeah. little bird. I made that. That balm <laughs> stuff's really good, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. I've talked about that in my update oh, cool. video. Um, so basically this is here for when I'm nursing and I've got baby and I know I've got a windowsill here but you know at night time this blind will be shut so it's a good idea to have this little shelf here because if I've got my phone or something and I want to put my phone to one side for a second I can put my phone up there and if I've got a bottle I can put my bottle down for a moment and um, so yeah I'm really I'm really pleased with those. We've got those quite cheap as well, didn't we? Mm. They're from the range again. Yeah, range stuff's really good. Okay, so. Put your hand up. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> so, moving on a bit further around the nursery, we've got our um, baby bouncer here. Um, and you would have probably seen this in my um, baby shower hall, but this doesn't actually bounce, it sways. And this is called the Nuna Leaf. And the reason it's called the Nuna Leaf is because as you can see, it's modeled on a leaf and it mimics the way that a leaf falls to the ground. So we can just put him in here and just let him drift off. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so over here, I've got my changing area, which I, abs I absolutely love. Um, so we've got the changing top here uh, with a changing mat that is from where Tom? Uh, next. It's from the White Company. Oh really? Okay, yeah cool. <laughs> it's from the White Company and we've also got this beautiful paper cloud mobile uh, for the baby to look at while next. he's having his bums changed. No, next. White Company. Oh White Company, okay. Also from the White Company, <laughs> <laughs> which is really cute. Uh, we've also put up this little shelf here just for a few uh, simple essentials and then down here we've got a Tommy TP Santec bin um, this is for nappies so basically when you've got a nappy you pop the nappy in here and then it will fall to the bottom and then you turn the handle which will twist it and seal it off and then you put that down like sausages yeah and you plunge <laughs> it down and it keeps the, it keeps the nasty smells let's hope so it keeps the nasty smells away so in my drawers here, I've got my top drawer, which is absolutely stuffed full of baby wipes. I've got my maternity notes in here, but mainly there's oh, nappies. Wow, look at all those. There's a lot of nappies God, in here. God, that's going to keep you busy, isn't it, all of those? <laughs> I'm actually thinking about getting a nappy stacker because I kind of want this drawer to be a little bit more functional. Um, and then in the next drawer down, we've got a lot of stuff missing at the moment because we're actually washing all the baby's clothes, but we've just mm. got a selection of some of the things that I've actually managed to wash, including a massive bag of socks. And then in the very bottom drawer, we've got the baby's blankets and towels. Okay, and then this corner of the room, this is a little bit more cluttered because we're gonna keep the pram in the nursery because we don't really have a lot of other storage space in the house to put the pram. We've got quite a narrow corridor, so Excuse me, <laughs> we'd be squeezing past it all the time. So I've got my baby's Moses basket here. This is from Schnuggle. This will eventually go in our bedroom when the baby comes along. It's just been 
hiding in here for the moment until he's here. Um, so we've got the wardrobe here. As you can see, this all this furniture is part of a set, which we got from very.co.uk. And it was really, really good off price. It's actually. good price, it's wasn't it? Really good price. So if I open up my baby's wardrobe, Got everything that we need. Got loads in there. Yeah, loads in here. So we've got we've got his books. We've got some of the shoes that we've got thus far. Medical kits, grooming kits, and then here, this is everything for naught to three months that we've got thus far. And then we've got refills for like the nappy dispenser. We've got the baby's bath down at the bottom down here, and then these clothes are from three to six months. And then on top of the uh, wardrobe at the moment, we've just got one of the baby special toys is in this box. And we've got our baby carrier. And up at the top here, we've got a big box, which has basically got all of our bottles and sterilizer kit for the moment. We've got our breast pump up there, milk bags and everything. So we may not need those to start with, so they've been put out of the way. And um, coming back down here again, this is my baby's nappy bag. This is an Orla Keeley nappy bag, and it's been stocked ready for when the baby <laughs> goes to the hospital. So that's just waiting there, and this is the baby's laundry basket, which basically fits in with the grey theme in the rest of the nursery. We've got some more of the baby toys here. Another one of these box shelves. I made this monstrosity. It does it look nice? Can I take it out? Do you like it? Let it fly. I think it looks horrible, I think it looks evil, I think, I don't know if it's the red eyes that I put on it or something. <laughs> it looks evil when it's out of focus. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's certain, that is, for some reason, Daddy has put the evil bird <laughs> in there for the moment. I like it, you made it. So. Yeah. And this is our baby's pram. This is a Silver Cross uh, Pioneer. Um, the reason I liked it is because it's got a huge shopping trolley at the bottom and also the wheels are quite big. We live in a rural area so we need a buggy that can basically handle all the footpaths and etc. Um, I will do more of a review, review on this buggy when I've actually... We got a really good deal on it didn't we? Yeah we did. We got it off eBay. eBay? eBay and it was like... Two, brand, yeah. brand new, it was like 800 and we got it for 200 200 pounds and it's spotless. Yeah, it's lovely. Really spotless. Yeah, we'll do a review on it once we've actually had a bit of time to use it. And then finally down here um, on this little stool um, is our baby monitor. This is an angel care monitor. Um, basically it links up to a pad that goes underneath the baby's mattress so that if the baby doesn't breathe for more than a few seconds, I think it's about 20 to 30 seconds, we get a notification, well not notification, more of an alarm on our end to just check to make sure everything's okay. Um, and it also acts as a nightlight as well. Yeah, we just got one of his first baby grows in here. And a little, little picture. And a little picture of him when he was 16 weeks, a 3D scan. So that finishes off the stuff for the daytime, but we've got one other cool little thing which Emily will tell you all about in a second. And here it is. So we've got an extra bayonet on our light up there, which basically means that if you flick the switch once, some uh, subtle LED lights come on around the bayonet. Um, and basically what it's used for is when you wanna check on your baby, and you want to turn the light on, obviously you don't want to wake it up, so you can use that light there. However, if you do want to turn your normal light on, you just flick on, off, on. Just two clicks. So. <laughs> so yeah, th that is my baby's nursery. Um, the more and more it's come together, the more and more time I spend in here, just with my feet up on my laptop and stuff, just enjoying the space. And I know that he doesn't go in here right away, he'll be with us in our bedroom for about six months, but it's my first baby and I just wanted to make sure that everything was just so perfect and I think I just really like it. Yeah, I think it's really good. I like everything that's 
everything, all the little details, all the little touches. I like the bits and pieces in the ceiling as well because it just breaks up the room. And I think we've done well, we've shopped around and we've took our time. So I think we saved a lot of money, which is really cool. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching guys. I've been so excited to film this video for ages and I just wanted it to be perfect, not just for me and my baby, but for everybody else as well, which is really weird, but I'm just so excited and I just can't wait for him to be here and be in this space. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe. He's literally gonna be here in about three weeks time. So all the more reason to come back and see us. Um, so until I see you guys next time, bye.